Our story today is called The Hanukkah Bear by Eric Kimmel. Old Bear woke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Bubba Brena took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brena was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Bubba, Bubba Brena always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight the rabbi was coming. Bubba Brena hurried to get ready. Just then she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you, growled the old bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Bubba Bra Braina tugged at old bear's fur. Old bear roared. Grrr. Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old bear's nose twitched. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old bear followed his nose to the oven. Grrr. Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. Grrr. That's all right. I know you were teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Mm -hmm. Bubba Brena struck a match and lit the shamash candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old bear muttered and growled. Grrr. Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Bubba Brena sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one on his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. Ruff, growled Old Bear. Don't worry. I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Bubba Brena sp spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win! Bubba Brena swept the nuts into her apron. Ruff, old Bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. Bubba Brena opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brena asked. Some people put sugar on their latkes too. Rawr, old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Baba Brainus smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Baba Braina laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. <clears throat> I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that, Baba Braina said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped onto Bubba Brena's lap. Oh, Rabbi, you're sl sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? Oh, the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brena took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. <clears throat> Old Bear licked Bubba Brena's face. Bubba Brena blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. Old Bear shuffled to the door, Roomf, he growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Bubba Brena was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Bubba Brena. All her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Bubba Brena said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Uh, Bubba Brena, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Bubba Brena rubbed her forehead. Hmm, something strange happening, rabbi. I think there's an imposter going around. He looks just like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. 
Just then the children cried, look at the floor, bear tracks. A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi Bubba Brainus that had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear or a very foolish Bubba Braina. Oh, well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too. And so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, old bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped around his neck. Pleasant dreams, old bear, and happy Hanukkah. There's an author's note here that says, Hanukkah is the Jewish festival of lights. The holiday commemorates a victory over the Greek army in 145 BCE when the temple in Jerusalem was restored to Jewish worship. According to tradition, there was only enough sanctified oil to light the temple menorah for one day. The oil miraculously burned for eight days, long enough for more oil to be brought to Jerusalem. Since then, oil and light have been part of celebrating Hanukkah. The nine-branched Hanukkah lamp, the menorah, or Hanukkah, is lit each night, beginning with one candle and ending with eight. A servant candle, the shamash, is used to light the others. Foods cooked in oil are part of the Hanukkah celebration. Latkes, potato pancakes, and sufganoit, jelly donuts, are traditional Hanukkah dishes. Hanukkah games are played with a four-sided top called a dreidel. The four letters on the sides are the first letters of the Hebrew words, yesh gadol hayasham. The words mean a great miracle happened there. Thanks everyone for joining me. Take care.